Good morning, guys. It's last late in Ski Bakers. Oh. Well, it's a little bit windy today. So I got the mic out. Hopefully that will help. Um, not a whole lot going on. Try to get a few things done. So today's Monday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They're saying we have chance of rain. Oh, we moved some pens yesterday. So, Joker and his ladies have had kind of this whole area. So all we did was shift them down that way. And then this area right here, all we did was shift them down this way. Um, I know, Foxy. You've had enough, huh? Check their fence again today. Wasn't yeah, not hitting super hard. I think there's just so much fence and then the grass. I mean, I didn't mow around there, so. Hi, Latte, Lucifer. We have Delphine and Blanche. Our friend Ruby's goats here being bred. They came from us last year. So you saw a little bit of them, I think, in our sandwich fair show. So Delphine being picked on by, there she is, by Cupid, is a Mazikeen daughter. And Blanche is a Sangria daughter. Hi, pretty girl. Don't touch the fence. Don't. Nope. No. They haven't been in an electric fence <laughs> since they left here, so I try to not antagonize them into accidentally getting zapped. So everybody's a little bit happier having fresh pens there, or fresh grass. Oh, it's only like 50 degrees. This weather's garbage. I hate winter. Oh. So I moved the Lavender Orpingtons yesterday. So we'll check their food and water. They should be good. We are doing Jason's, oh, turkeys, no. Oh, there they go. They lean, start leaning on the fence and get it down and then they all walk through it. Guess we're gonna have turkeys out. I need to figure out something to do with them for a different fence because I really could use their fence. But I don't really want to put up like cattle panels or anything else. Oh, I guess we'll take this down and let them out for a little while. Ooh. put the pokey end in. I'll end up with a dog or somebody stabbing themselves. Okay, just just a second, please. There, how about that? Can you guys get out now? Come on, turkey lurkies. Yeah, so we're having Jason's family Thanksgiving this weekend. So I'll probably pick the biggest Tom, probably right over there. And we'll have to process midweek, probably by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest. I wanted to do these 10 Cornish cross hens at the same time and a few of these roosters, but the weather's supposed to be raining Wednesday through the rest of the week. I think we'll wait. Yeah, you leave them birds alone. I know you think that chickens are squeaky toys, but they're not. Oh, they're enjoying themselves. Okay. I'll let these guys out. They keep roosting up on the fence and 
when they hop down, there's always four or five over here in the morning. So they've learned if I pull the corner of this fence up, they can sneak underneath. Of course, usually I do it when I fed them, so they all go running for the food, but today they're, they know that I haven't fed them yet. No, you guys get to go out and free range the yard for a little while. Oh, that's a lot of birds. Go that way. Go on. There you go. Okay. You little rooster, you can go out there too. Just don't get lost. Oh. No, Abel. I see you perking your ears up. Um, what else? <clears throat> These guys have been going out to the hay field every day. Actually, we'll walk around the other way. Oh, must have left my basket out here yesterday. Did you eat my basket? I took some stuff out to the pigs. Yeah, he's guilty. Did you eat my basket? Seriously? Oh, yeah. Hi, turkeys. <laughs> oh, I feel like a bunch of stalkers. Hi, little girls. You guys ready for your daily grass? Oh yeah, Remy says, I'm hungry. Feeding babies, huh, Remy? Yeah. Hi, Rem. Hi, pretty girl. Remy, Sugar, Mazikeen. Oh, there she is right there. Who else is bread? Oh, I moved Sangria back. I needed their pen right there. I'll show you why in just a minute. Hi, Tay. Tay, I had some diarrhea yesterday. Well, the last two days and was just kind of laying around. Good to see that she's up and going out with the rest of the ladies. I did give her some meds. She's looking a little happier today. Oh, a Pawnee's bread. Classy's bread. You guys have got quite the mound going again. I told you guys I'm terrible. I never keep up with cleaning this up. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Boo. You kind of gave up on your Boo barn. You like it better over here? Oh, everything's just starting to dry out. Oh, hi, Nainers. How you doing, Kane? Oh, you're gonna knock me over. Okay, let me throw, let. Oh, he's gonna knock me out. So, oh. Kane, you are the worst roadblock. So we went Saturday and brought home a couple new goats. Kane, oh. one is new, one was from here. So, hi, oh, you are pretty gross, sir. So this is Margo, this is Latte's sister that we sold when she was a kid. They are moving, selling all their goats. So I really liked Trinity and Thunder Cross, which is Latte and Margo. So we went and picked her up and we brought home this little buckling named Artie that they had. Him and his other buck buddy was roaming around in a bunch of brush and kind of, not thicket area, but a tree line. He was covered in burrs, so he's not my BFF yet. We spent quite a while on the stand I mean, he's super friendly, but pretty sure he was cussing out yesterday while he was on the stand. And I 
picked out and brushed out. Abel, no! Turkeys are all running and flapping and he thinks he needs to go chase them. Abel? No! You know, they all come running from over there and ran and flapped all the way across here. Okay, anyway. Hi, Treble. Hi, Mellow. Chippers. So, we're excited to have Artie, completely unrelated. Not, maybe not completely, almost completely unrelated to everything that we have. His, I think, grandpa on his dad's side is partially related to Foxy, but far enough back that they're pretty much unrelated. Mamas! No! Abel? <laughs> the neighbors have people over and they're outside, so they think that they need to get them. Everybody's wound up with this cold weather. Oh, the only other new thing that I can think of, and it's not even really new. Oh, oh, these dogs are bound to determine to take me out. Mama's enough. Hi, fat piggies. Sleeping piggies, mama's, no. Oh, there's another fat piggy. I'll get you guys your breakfast. Just a minute. Hi, boys. Whew. So we took the new feeder out. Jason cut off the bottom metal pieces that were rotting on this one. Put this one back in because we had, I don't know, four, five days in a row. Junior was stuck with her head in the squares. So until she gets a freezer camp date, I guess we're stuck with this one. And that is the reason why we were getting rid of this one the calves can climb in there. The other two cannot, but croissant still squeezes in there. But she gets in, lays down, eats. Then when she gets up, she's too wide, she can't get back out. So dealing with croissant is a little less stressful than Junior with her horns stuck in there. So I guess that's what we get for now. I'm gonna go do my chores, feed my pigs and poultry, do goat grain, horse grain, <clears throat> oh, and I'm hoping to start building at least one of my mineral feeders. We went to the store this weekend and I think I got all the lumber that I need. Hopefully I can get it at least one, but hopefully two built before I'm coming while the minerals get here. That way we can get them ooh, sliding in the mud out right away. So chores and then I'll be back with whatever we can figure out to do today. Oh, mamas. Mamas. Oh, she's half deaf and half blind. She's old. Well, it's the next morning. I did work on a mineral feeder. I'll show you what that looks like. 
I'm debating on whether, good morning boys, whether I make, oh, excuse me, another one. I kind of think I'm supposed to get rain tonight, tomorrow, that I may wait and just see if, Kane, please carrying a 50 pound bag of feed if you need to get out of my way um I may wait and see if it gets any water in the mineral pans oh I'm gonna put this meat bird feed down and then we'll go look at it what you are so loud Margo all right here's what i came up with so it's a six foot piece of tin um these corners are going to be sharp cane seriously so i may take this and kind of angle down a little bit whoops more towards over here just so that it doesn't have this sharp corner sticking out either that or I'm gonna just take pliers or something and kind of roll it under a two by four just cut in half just as a kind of support this way I was going to put a kind of step across here but right now it's low enough that they don't really need it what it looks like from the end. Um, I thought about putting tin or plywood or something across here, but as long as it's kind of set the right way, I don't think anything should blow in. I mean, there's, I think it's about seven or eight inches this way, plus six inches of tin this way. That is covering kind of an overhang. My biggest concern is rain coming in this way, but I think there's enough of an overhang. I mean, it's really got to be coming in sideways to make it into the pans. But most of our rain and wind comes from this direction. So I may turn it a little bit while it sits out here and just see what it, you know, if it gets anything. They're all waiting for me to open the hayfield gate. But, so yeah, I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to let this one see if it gets wet. I could raise this whole section up. But I brought a couple goats out yesterday and they can get their head up underneath. I don't think if I move it up that Ritz will be able to get in there. If I do need to move it up, I'm going to have to add splice in kind of a extra 2x4 at the four legs on the A-frame. And bring this out a little bit further. Otherwise, Ritz won't be able to get in and out with her horns. So... How you doing, Taya? I think we got her diarrhea stopped. She seems to be much happier, much more awake. More alert, I guess would be the better word. Hi, Biscotti. Um, she has lost a little bit of weight. So, oops. And it happens when you're sick. So diary is gone, so that's a plus. Let's you guys all coming out? 
Hi, ladies. Yes, hopefully your new minerals come this week. You guys coming? Go check out the little girls while we're out here. Hi, ladies. You pooped in your grain pans again. I'm going to have to empty those out. Hi! What are we doing? I'm thinking about just putting those guys out with all of these guys. Oh, latte must be in heat. Rosie's in heat, huh? Latte standing there with Lucy flagging her tail. Joker was over there headbutting the fence until he got zapped. Hi, Delphine. Blanche, are you hiding? Hoping that they come into heat in the next couple days. Otherwise, we'll just keep an eye on them, see when they're bred. Told them that I would try to keep them for at least 30 to 45 days. Then hopefully we witness them being bred and then I can and then I can ultrasound them 30 to 40 days afterwards just to confirm that they're bred before we send them back home. They don't live far from us, so they could just bring them back for an ultrasound or I could go down there. Rosie. Keep an eye on them so I can mark it in my calendar if he breeds her today. I think I had her kind of, I don't know if I had her down for a muck butt or not. Here comes Blanche. Hi, pretty girl. Don't do it, you two. That fence is hot. Are you in heat too? What's a head button going on out here? Ooh. Honey, that is my leg, not a scratching post. That hurts. Ladies, my tree's already leaning. You trying to kill it for me? Am I going to have to fence this off? Hey. Yeah, I think you guys definitely need those minerals, huh? Stripping the bark off the tree. to take this one down anyway. It's leaning and in the way of future plans. All right, ladies. I'm gonna go finish my chores. Okay, you see them on the camera. Boo and Slash. The only ones that went out to actually eat.
Jason's homesick today, so I've been trying to do as much stuff outside, so I'm not making a bunch of noise in the house. So I did my chores, made about 250 pounds of feed, cleaned off the pig concrete. It's supposed to start raining tonight and rain for four or five days. So cleaned up the horse pen best I could. Tried to fill in a little bit of this where it's super low. A lot of manure to get out of here. That'll be good for my garden. Oh, I don't know. I think it's probably about 1.30 already, so it's past lunchtime. Guess I'll go in and find something to eat. I need to get the those pen cleaned out too, but it's not going to happen before it rains tonight, so. We are all just loving eating that tree. Lucifer's still working on getting latte bread. What do you think, Abel? Huh? Hey. Can you tell him that's it? Have a good day. See you on the next one.